Hello to all that have joined already. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, my name is Will Allen. Uh, I'm going to be taking us through a webinar today focused on sample systems. I'm just going to allow a couple more minutes for people to react to their meeting invitations uh, and then I'll make a start in a minute or two. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to make a start. Again, um, thank you all for joining us today uh, for Crocon's sample system focused webinar. Um, for those that weren't dialed in a second ago, my name is Will Allen. I am the product marketing manager for fixed and sample systems at Crocon. Uh, and as I've already advised, I'm going to take us through uh, to take a look at sample systems today. So I'll just give us a little outline of what we're going to look at. Um, first of all, just an introduction to what sample systems are. And we can also look at a um, how does a sample system work and what is the process. Uh, we put together a, a short animation video, um, which gives us a top level indication into what the process of sample systems are, um, what the benefits, what the solutions are. Um, and then once we've seen that video, we'll st uh, step a little bit deeper into what the benefits of sample systems are. Um, and then we'll start looking at an industry focus with a couple of uh, regular um, application types um, that come from uh, various industries. So that's our schedule for today. So if we move straight into um, the presentation where we first of all look at what a sample system is. So in a nutshell, um, a sample system uses a means of draw technique to bring an air sample of the gas uh, from a remote point to a gas detector. So how we look at these is um, these can be engineered in many different ways. Um, every single sample system that we look to execute is a bespoke solution um, for a customer. So they can feed us information on what their requirements are um, and they can tell us what they're needing re regarding to inputs, outputs. Uh, but generally we start from uh, one of four um, configurations which we can build out from. So uh, those four configurations uh, start off first of all with a single point sample systems for very simple uh, task completion. Then we start looking into sequential sample systems, multi-point sample system and aspirators. So if we go just a little bit deeper into what each of those system types are, uh, first of all we'll look at single point. So as the name suggests this is going to be a point of single a uh, line which is going to be uh, detecting gas and it's just a single uh, line which will be used for that application and uh, this is effectively going to be using a mains operated pump in order to draw the sample away from the location uh, up to one kilometer away into this enclosure where we uh, we keep the controller and the detector and sensor all contained within this one enclosure type. So the sample that which is fed down this single point is, uh, is, if required, it can be filtered to remove any particles uh, or moisture before it's being passed on to uh, a controlled flow to the detector head. Quite often, one of the reasons that we're looking to supply a sample unit is because of a particularly hazardous area or a particularly 
con contaminated area which is going to be pulling through not just a gas sample but some contaminants in that environment as well so if we move over to sequential um, so it works in a very similar way to a single point um, but as you'll see on the side of that enclosure there's multiple ports um, and we have up to 32 that can be uh, listed on one sample uh, sequential sample system enclosure and uh, effectively what is happening is um, there's a sample valve behind here which opens the valve for each one of these ports in a sequence a predefined sequence which allows the gas sample to reach each detector there's only one at a time but for a short period of time and then it will move on to the next port so how that's completed with two pumps so the first one is the pump which is used as the sample pump uh, which is drawing line the sample down the line for the um for the port which is uh, being used at that particular time and there's a second pump which is also being used and that is in order to draw through um the the line uh, for the next um port which is going to be used so we always have a preset um, a sample which is going to be fed down that sequential um order so uh, we always have a fresh sample of uh, gas coming through once um it's been purged and come through then it is then uh, ex uh, exhausted and then it's then goes through the cycle again in the sequential order um next up we look at multi-port so or multi-point in fact um this is made up of multiple single point systems and they'll it's all mounted into one enclosure so you'll, you'll notice in here there's many detectors uh, which are going to be using these single points it's just containing all of these single points into one location um, and dependent on how many um, detectors are required will, will be dependent on what panel is required um, for this solution as well. Now, last up, the aspirator. Um, and this is the only sample, sampling system which is, uh, can be used um, and located in hazardous environments. Um, and in order to uh, ensure that this can be used in hazardous environments, um, we are using uh, very few electrical components, um, just the sensor and uh, intrinsically safe flow fail device. Um, we're using an eductor rather than a pump in order to uh, ensure that this product is gonna be safe in a hazardous environment. So there are the four sample types that we use as a baseline. Um, all of these um, can be made bespoke, um, can be designed um, to a size requirement um, for a certain distance that you need to cover anything that needs to be done these four units are our base point which we work up from okay so what we'll look at now um, is i'm going to show you a short animation video that we've put together and this is going to give us some top line information to sample systems um, some of the solutions that they offer and some of the challenges um, that we operators will be using um, when uh, um, in the gas detection system so uh, this is you may or may not hear some music over the top of this video um some people will some people won't um, there's no spoken word so the, but there is some words written on the, on the slide so uh i will i will remain quiet as i um, roll this video it takes about two minutes
Okay, thank you for your attention during that video. Um, so the video's purpose was to just educate a, a top level um, into what a sample system um, can achieve uh, and what solutions um, it can provide uh, in a, a solution for. So um, I think what we're trying to show here is um, some of the challenges that we're seeing and how the sample system will find that solution, but also to show that uh, Crocon are very much um, a specialist in this area. We have a dedicated team which is going to be able to look after the inquiry um, and take this from the initial inquiry stage through to a design phase into a supply stage. Uh, and we're looking to uh, support you after the uh, installation. Uh, we can support you with regards to the service, servicing and maintenance of the unit um, throughout the life, life cycle of that uh, sample system requirement. So um, effectively, that's what it is. And um, I wanted to sort of now go a little bit deeper into um, why we would use a sample system and just touch on a few points um, so we can uh, understand a little better so why a sample system may help us in a particular application type. So as we know, industries um, that are using potentially hazardous gases are can often expose workers to a variety of gases which can be harmful to their health. So the challenges that we face um, is uh, particularly hazardous locations that restricts access by operators. So that could mean um, a, a um, restriction of a certain amount of time that people can spend in these areas, or it could be a restriction completely where no one can actually enter this unit because it is that, uh, that hazardous um, to allow anyone to come in. So where a sample system will help in that situation is we will remove the need for anyone to enter that area if it is, in, if it is too hazardous. So we're able to mount a, a sample line uh, in that location and it will draw out that sample to a safe location, which is going to be monitored regularly. So any maintenance or service in this done to your gas detection system is done in your safe area rather than having to send an operator into that particular area. Uh, frustration that we're seeing in the, uh, in the marketplace is a frequent sensor replacement due to the damaged sensor. So uh, that damaged sensor could be uh, for various different reasons. And this could be an overexposure um, to a high level of uh, gas level. Um, there could be um, other reasons that a sensor has, has failed, could be poisoned or a permanent inhibition um, on some of the palace sensors that we see. Uh, and that could be down to some environmental challenges. So uh, there can be often very humid um, uh, environments that uh, these are located in, often dusty, um, dirty and dust uh, can contaminate the gas sample. Uh, often a temperature that could be very high or very low temperature, which is changing the state of the gas. Um, and it can't be uh, monitored correctly because of that. Uh, and often we're seeing a moisture as well, which is being drawn through uh, into the sample, which can uh, cause an issue with the combustion type of sensors that we use as well. Uh, quite often we're seeing that there's um, a, a can be a very high or a very low gas flow as well. So uh, in order to uh, make sure that the gas is getting to the sensor at the right flow, we're able to, with a sample system, we're able to uh, um, monitor that and uh, increase or decrease that flow, uh, depending on what the requirements are. And with regard to the environmental challenges, uh, we'll see that we are able to condition or filter out any of the uh, um, contaminants that have been drawn into the sample in, via the sample system before it reaches the detector and the sensor. So there's a reduction in needing to replace the sensors due to damage because of any environmental challenges that you may face. Um, and that is going to improve um, the overall cost of ownership and uh, reduce risk for operators having to enter that potentially hazardous location um, by removing it from that location into a safe area. So all of these things that we've talked at, or touched on here, um, a sample system provides that solution to it. And there's a variety of different system types which we're using either pumps or compressed air-driven vacuum pumps, which is extracting the air away from the location and able to us to monitor in a safe area and present samples to one or more gas sensors that's located in the sample system enclosure that we've predefined. So if we have a little look now into industry and application focus, um, as you'll notice there, some of you will, there was, uh, the sample system is effectively a standalone detection panel. So Everything is located within this one um, enclosure, um, apart from the sample line itself. So the pump, the, the filtration uh, uh, and or water filtration device is all located in this one enclosure. 
um, that it can be used in a multitude of different applications. So, um, you know, the main application of sample, sample systems and one of the key things that we're looking to uh, achieve by implementing a sample system is um, where fixed detectors are in a hard to install or very hard to access area. So that could be for various reasons. So uh, a sample system is a very cost effective way of monitoring multiple areas and environmental conditions. So a few of them that we've looked at here, um, slow gas buildup, um, for example, on a landfill site. So the sequential sample system that we talked about earlier is uh, up to 32 sample lines can be used for monitoring areas where that slow buildup is likely. So the gas levels from all the detectors and the flow switches is, is, is logged at the end of the sample time for each line. And uh, from the data log, um, which is uh, logged in the sample system, any buildup of gas in that certain area across those 30, up to 32 lines can be seen individually. Also, we can look at restricted access areas. So drawing uh, a sample from a remote location or a confined space. Um, and because the sample system pulls that sample uh, from a remote place to the detector, um, the sample system is very good for monitoring those restricted areas. So confined spaces, process lines, and areas that require lengthy work permits and permissions in order to uh, gain access uh, can be done without the need for uh, that being uh, required. The, no longer will we need to wait for a lengthy permit or permission because the sample system is doing the work um, of a operator would do in that situation anyway. Uh, also, looking at environmental problems, um, we've touched on that with regards to challenges with contaminants. Um, very regularly, we're seeing excess water or dust. Um, as we said, we can control that in the sa sample system with regards to filters and water traps. Um, compressed air can also be blown back down the sample line. So there's a purge cycle which is going to clear the sample line of any debris that we see in that sample line. So if we are drawing through uh, excess water or dust and it is starting to uh, coke up, we can actually clean the sample line automatically with this purge cycle, um, which is part of the sample system um, solution setup. Another issues that we can look at is the temperature, which we touched on. So cooling coils, um, they can be included onto the sample line in order to drop the temperature within the sensor range. So we're not going to be exposing the sensor to a high temperature uh, as that's coming through uh, this down the sample line. We can condition it to the right um, situation to allow us to uh, detect it correctly. So looking at some um, very common um, requirement uh, applications. Um, first of all, looking at a power station with uh, regards to coal. So um, Coal is um, used in the combustion process, process for power stations uh, in some cases when, uh, when they use coal. And in these areas, there's a real risk of spontaneous combustion of the coal dust deposits. But uh, prior to the combustion, um, we see it, we're seeing a smoldering. So this results uh, in detectable levels of carbon monoxide. So at that stage, there's no fire um, or other preventive actions that can be taken, such as steam or nitrogen inerting. So uh, this is an important stage for us to be able to monitor the gas uh, and making sure that we're able to uh, uh, provide a monitoring update at this time. So in these scenarios, we use single or multi-point systems um, uh, for monitoring probes, and these are placed um, in the areas um, where that's taking place. And the CO alarms are typically set at 50 to 100 ppm. Um, so this application is extremely harsh, so particularly in the coal mills. So we're able to uh, use a hardened probe, which has a removable filter. So this is going to provide long time re reliable performance uh, over that uh, life cycle of the product to allow us removing the filter, and ensuring we're getting a clean sample coming through the sample uh, line each time. Um, and as we know, industries are starting to recognize the need to improve and ensure safety environments for their workers. And the HSC is starting to further tighten the safety regulations in that area. So methods such as these sample uh, systems are likely to become a first choice solution across many industries that are potentially uh, using hazardous gases in these very challenging applications. OK, uh, another one that we look at here is the automotive industry. Um, we have um, tailored and supplied and maintained many, many sample systems in this particular industry. Um, and uh, as we know, vehicle manufacturers, they've got many different types of gas hazards in and around their facilities. So the fixed monitors um, for use in the automotive industry um, are often used in engine test bays, uh, 
ducts, the spray booths, drying ovens, and storage tanks um, for the gas or petroleum products that they uh, they keep in, on site as well. So the fixed systems, um, they're installed to monitor for flammable gases and carbon monoxide within the engine test laboratories. Um, and here, um, the engines are running a very small room. So uh, they're testing their performance to the max and uh, making sure that um, while uh, they need to monitor for fuel leaks, they're also looking for a toxic gas buildup in these scenarios as well. So quite often an operator will need to go in and out of this room to ensure that the if the engine needs tune in or it needs uh, some uh, updates, it quite often needs to enter this room. So uh, being able to uh, understand a, uh, if there's a fuel leak or taxi gas, toxic gas buildup is key in order to keep this operator safe. Also for the paint spraying in the booths as well. So uh, the sample system provide a very good solution for monitoring the solvents or the unburned uh, heating fuel around the paint spray booths and the, and the ovens. So uh, this removes the sensor from direct contact with the process as well. There's obviously a lot of contaminants that can be drawn through from uh, this particular application. So by doing this, we're making a very effective position of, um, of where the sample line will fit and uh, ensuring we're going to be providing a clean, accurate sample to the gas detector to ensure the safety of anyone in or around this particular area. So that's my introduction to um, sample systems. Just as a summary, um, I wanted to make you aware that Crocon, uh, we are specialists in creating tailored, non-standard configurations. There's no job which we've ever had to turn down in, in this department. We've uh, been able to find solution for everything that's come to us. So for applications which uh, they're unable or unsuitable to take gas because of a specific requirement or an extreme environment, um, we're able to find a solution using our sample system um, department. So as I touched on earlier, we have a dedicated team. So in the engineered systems, um, there's a dedicated team which will take, the, um, will take you on the journey from the inquiry all the way to, through to the uh, design, through to the installation, and will support you through the uh, ongoing maintenance and servicing of the product through its life cycle. So uh, the dedicated team will uh, look after you from start to finish and uh, they'll be able to provide various options and solutions to meet your requirement. So if, if reaching out to our team and um, telling us what your challenge is, um, they'll be able to find solutions um, ranging from very simple single point or to very large site-wide projects. There's no job too big or too small. The, um, we offer the complete service and maintenance support via some of our partners, um, and we're able to um, support that all the way through to the implementation stage. And we feel there's a huge opportunity to reach many customers who have got a very unique gas detection requirement on a very small and large scale projects. Um, there's people which will be suffering right now with uh, damaged sensors or contaminants, which are causing them frustrations in the marketplace. And we very much feel this is a sort of a dark art of the gas detection world where we feel uh, solutions are there. Um, we just need to make sure we educate um, the people which are working in these environments that there is a solution. Uh, and a better way to uh, detect gas and provide clean samples to your gas detection system. So that's my top level introduction to sample systems. I, I hope that gave you some benefit um, and understanding of what sample system is and how the challenges uh, can be turned into solutions with a sample system. And um, I hope that has uh, raised some um, questions in your mind about some uh, potential applications where this may be suitable for. And um, I, again, thank you very much for your time. If there's uh, any questions, I'll be happy to uh, try and answer them. Uh, if you wish to um, type a message into the chat section uh, of your login box that you've uh, logged into the GoToMeeting, uh, I'll be happy to try and answer those questions now. Um, if not, uh, I, again, thank you very much for your time. My name is Will Allen. I am the Fixed Product uh, Marketing Manager at Crocon for uh, Fixed Systems and Sample Systems. So it doesn't seem like there's any questions coming through on the chat. So in which case, I will hand the rest of the day back to you. And again, appreciate your time. And I'll look to speak to you soon. Thank you very much.